Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's time to start double checking that your Chromium based web browsers are all up to date because Google is rolling out a security fix that patches the eighth zero day vulnerability of the year in Chrome and the different Chromium based web browsers. So because we are dealing with a exploit that's already been exploited in the wild, it's time to head to our main menu, help about Google Chrome and check your browser is up to date because it has, if it hasn't already been updated, this process will force the update. Now this update rolled out on the 20th, which was once again late yesterday in my region. And once the update has been applied, as we can see, version and build has been upgraded to 120.0.6099.129 or 130, either or if you are using Mac, Linux and or Windows. Now, as mentioned, um, this update only includes one security fix, but although it's only one security fix, which is a high level vulnerability that's been addressed, which is your second highest after critical, it's already been exploited in the wild with Google saying they are aware that an exploit for CVE 20237024 exists in the wild. Now, when something is existing in the wild, when it comes to flaws and vulnerabilities, it means it's out there, it's current, and the exploit is happening currently. So it's very important to double check that your browser is up to date. Now, if you do want to stick around and want to know a little bit more about what a heap buffer overflow in WebRTC is all about, which is this vulnerability that's been addressed, a heap buffer overflow, just to give you a kind of quick description, if you would be interested, heap basically is a section of memory that stores dynamic variables, okay? And the memory available needs a pool or heap of memory segments and software systems basically dynamically allocate, manage and release data and variables by pointing to and using a finite amount of these memory segments. So that's a bit of an in-depth overview of what a heap is. Now they might occur um, sometimes when the inputs passed using these software elements might be too large and run over these finitely assigned memory blocks okay that are part of the actual memory and might overflow that's where it gets its heap buffer overflow um, name from um, and might overflow into adjacent memory blocks inadvertently accessing the information in those segments so this is where the attackers the hackers the bad guys so to speak and um, they look to access critical data in these segments and can take control of this heap overflow vulnerability and allow it to be turned into arbitrary code execution which basically is the vulnerability now i know that's a bit of a mouthful but just wanted to break it down um, and that's basically a definition i looked up about what is a heap buffer overflow vulnerability if you would be interested so nonetheless um just double check your browsers up to date just to patch this zero day and i have checked around the browser there doesn't seem to be any new tweaks or adjustments or features it's just a high risk vulnerability that has already been exploited in the wild that Google is now patching with his latest security fix for this week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.